What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors House My Outdoor Crew doing on this Saturday. Saturday vlog coming to you. Got a couple things I want to throw at you. Um, two weeks from tomorrow, be headed to the Smokies. Um, making that drive. Uh, I've got a video coming out on Monday on a new piece of equipment that will be going with me. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Uh, got everything pretty well lined out that I'm taking with me. I will be... Um, got a couple more things I need to square up, but it's no big deal. Um, we'll get that squared up. But anyway, so short, um, simple little video. Uh, going to show you a couple things I've done. I mean, it's not worth putting big video up for each one. Um, got this in the mail the other day. If you know, you know. Um, 22 a day. Everybody knows I'm not, I didn't serve the military whatsoever. Um, but growing up in scouting and everything, I had some very influential people in my life that uh, were actually Vietnam vets growing up. Then I've got friends that served in the military um, over the years, Afghanistan, Iraq. Um, I look up to those guys, you know, they're to me, they're my superheroes. Um, not somebody in a cape, not somebody on film, but real life, to me, those are the superheroes. And if you don't know the deal about behind that, 22 a day, that's how many veterans lose their life because of things they've gone through so anyway anything i can do um anything i could do um to support any kind of veteran foundation i do so anyways on with that um update this is my leatherman bond i told you i had a pocket clip coming put it on there that is a game changer on this. It slips in the pocket. Uh, it's pretty deep carry, which I kind of like. I've carried it today because I just put it on yesterday. But I uh, carried it today. I'll carry it for a couple weeks. See how I like it. Um, everybody knows when I go camping, though, my Leatherman Super Tool will go with me. Um, so this will stay home this is more for taking to work kind of thing um i like that super tool with me when i'm camping because i can do so much more with it um if i need to but anyway so i got the pocket clip on the leatherman bond i'm telling you that's a game changer i'm not a big fan of the sheath it comes with but i do like the pocket clip um another thing um really big supporter of um small um people doing their you know doing their thing um for a living and making cool things found a guy on instagram um that he was making edc coins and i have all kinds of edc coins you can call them challenge coins whatever you want to call them um his is called edc coins with a twist i'll put a thing right there I'll try to put a link, or I'll put his uh, name down below in the description. You can go check him out if you want to. He's coming up with another one here pretty soon. But I got his first coin he made. Uh, I told him I would. Um, thought it was really cool, uh, the, the message behind it. Uh, the storm eventually will pass. Let me show you the front of that. That is really cool. The detail and everything is just excellent. The weight of the coin is really cool too and then on the back climb the mountain reach for the stars and got a really cool scene on the back so the front of the coin and the back of the coin are just as cool as um one another uh sometimes you leave that leave out detail on the back of the coins and don't have anything on it but if you look and see that's number 15 
So that's number 15. I don't know how many he had made. I forgot to ask him, but that's really cool. He's working on another one now. Um, I'll pull it up and show you on Instagram. He's making look working on one for winter. Uh, be kind of cool. I told him I would uh, I would support him. But uh, pretty cool thing. Um, I like seeing people do that stuff. There's there's his rendering of it at first on paper so that's what it came out to be all right like i said this week's gonna be kind of short and sweet here at the end um i will throw in a video or picture now of the woods behind us at work is being transformed unfortunately uh, we lost all of our woods behind us because the property sold they're building three buildings which will total well over 300,000 square feet of warehouse type space I'm sure somebody will move in there and be shipping out of there all the time. So, yep, it's called progress, folks. We don't all like it, and sometimes we don't have any choice but uh, take it and deal with it. But um, I'll show, a, I got a video of a blast today. I was between our building and where it actually went off, but you can see the plume of smoke come up, and I narrate a little bit. They're fixing a blast here at the office again the office building is actually our building is right here and the blast is on the other side and here it goes oh see the dust come up above the building a little bit felt it in the truck that's pretty wild anyway all of this used to be forest area or a wooded area it's going to be well over 300,000 square feet of warehouse. So anyways, that's it. Hope you have a great Saturday. Got a cool video coming for you on Monday. And of course, I'll see you back next Saturday. Be prepared. See you on the next one.